If you're watching this video, you either want to know how to take focus modes to the next level or you've never heard of focus modes on the iPhone and you're curious how it can make your life a little more organized. Back in 2021 with iOS 15, Apple released a new way to change your iPhone completely, which they called focus modes. There's many ways to switch between your focus modes and they completely change the way your Apple devices work. In this video, I'm going to start with the basics, showing you just what a focus mode is, then we'll get a little more in depth, showing you some really cool things you can do with focus modes, and trust me, these actually are really cool, so let's get into it. Starting with the basics, focus modes are a way to get different notifications sent to you at different times. For example, you can turn off notifications from friends while you're at work or turn off notifications from coworkers when you're not at work. This is pretty much what Apple advertises focus modes to be. Just a quick way to turn off notifications to focus on a different task. If you want to set up a new focus mode, you'll go into settings and find focus. Then you press the plus button and you can either pick between a few presets or make a custom focus. If you create a custom focus, it'll have you pick a few things like name, color, and icon. Now that you're in the focus mode settings, you can do a few things. Customizing certain notifications like allowing certain contacts to contact you or not allowing other contacts to contact you. And you can actually do the same thing with different apps. This is really cool because you could turn on certain notifications for work only or turn off notifications for school. Hopefully this will make you a little more productive during these hours, making your phone a little less distracting and more of a tool to use. Then in the people section, you can actually decide who can call you. And below that, you can actually toggle on or off repeated calls. If this is turned on, when you're in that specific focus mode, Whoever calls you needs to call you twice for it to actually ring through. Otherwise, if you don't turn this on, no matter how many times they call you, you won't get the notification while you're in that focus mode. Under all the notification settings, you'll see customized screens. And this is where things start to get a little more interesting. Before we get super deep into this, make sure you at least have all the focus modes that you're going to want to use added so then you can go and make your home screens. I use five different focus modes, sleep, fitness, creative, work, and personal. These are pretty much the activities I do on a daily basis and each focus mode actually automatically changes based on the activity I'm doing, which we'll get into a little later. But first, let's go to the home screen. On the home screen, I like to start completely fresh and remove all the apps from my home screen. To do that, you'll want to go into jiggle mode by holding down on anywhere on the screen where there's not an app. Then you can click on the app and you can remove it from home screen. If you've got a lot of pages, you can actually just click on this button on the bottom and then you can remove whole pages from your home screen. Okay, now that I don't have any apps on my home screen, I'm going to go through and make one or two pages specifically for each focus mode that I've made. For example, my fitness page has my health apps, my music, and my gym folder so I can quickly get to my workouts straight from my screen. Now that you have all the pages made for your focus modes, you can actually go to the lock screen and do the same thing by pressing and holding and then adding a new lock screen by pressing the plus button. As you can see, I have a different wallpaper for my sleep, work, and fitness focus. And you can actually go in and add different widgets and controls and you can pin a different focus mode to each lock screen while you customize it. Maybe soon I'll make a video about lock screens and home screens because there's a lot you can do these days in terms of customization. Now that you have the lock screens and the home screens ready to go for your focus modes, you want to go back into the focus mode settings on your iPhone and select them on the customized screen section. Which, if you have an Apple Watch, you'll see you can actually add different watch faces based on the focus mode. And you can actually do this with your iPad as well. Your Mac will also get these focus modes, but as of right now, you can't really customize things like your wallpaper, which in my opinion is a bit of a bummer, but hopefully one day we'll see that soon. Okay, now we have notifications ready and all your home screens will bring up different apps when you're in different focus modes, but now we need a way to actually activate the focus modes. I like to have everything automated so I don't even have to think about turning on or off my focus modes, so I actually go into the schedule settings and schedule a time for each focus mode to turn on and off. For example, my work focus turns on at 6.45 a.m. then turns off at 4 p.m. since those are typically the hours that I work. You can also activate different focus modes based on location or even an app you open. Maybe you have a school focus that'll turn on when you get to school or a do not disturb focus that'll turn on whenever you open the YouTube app. If you don't like all the automatic switching between your home screen layout and your notification settings, then you can actually manually switch your focus modes in Control Center. If it's not in Control Center, you can add it by bringing your Control Center to Jiggle Mode like we did before on the home screen, then clicking Add Control. Now you can find the Focus Mode switcher and add it to your Control Center. I wish you could customize your Control Center based on your Focus Modes, but I haven't found a way to do that yet, so hopefully Apple will give us a way to do that soon. Before we get really crazy into this and bring the Shortcuts app, we need to talk about the very bottom section in the Focus Mode settings, Filters. These filters can really change the way your Apple devices work, and it's really cool. Going into filters, you have app filters on the top, then system filters on the bottom. With app filters, you can do things like only show the text messages from the people that you've actually approved to get notifications from while you're in that focus mode. Now, if you're at work and you have the work focus on, you don't even see messages from people that aren't in your work focus, which some people might love because it's less distracting, but then others might hate it because now they don't know what their friends are talking about all day. Then you have the system filters, which there's not a ton of options, but I like to do things like turn off always on display, 
play and turn on low power mode while I'm at work since I'm not really on my phone very much and it just saves battery life a little. All right, now let's dive into the shortcuts app to make these focus modes even better. There's a few things that I really want to show you that I think take focus modes to the next level. First is making different automations to activate your focus modes. For example, you can add a new automation and select CarPlay, then have it run immediately when CarPlay connects. Now start a blank shortcut and search for set focus and then select your driving focus. Now, whenever you connect to CarPlay, your phone will automatically turn the driving focus on. There's a lot of different ways to trigger your focus modes in here, like if you leave a certain area or if a specific person emails you or if you tap on an NFC tag. Then you can place these around your house or something and then you can activate different focus modes whenever you want instead of having to wait for a time or location and just do it instantly. Quick NFC trick, your AirTags actually have NFC so you can use it as an NFC tag and tag it to anything you want. Then when you touch your phone to your AirTag, it'll actually activate that shortcut. Another cool way to use these automations is by actually automating things based on the focus mode you're in. Going back into the add automation section, on the bottom, you can actually select one of your focus modes and then make it activate any shortcut. Some cool things could be turning off your lights when your sleep focus turns on or maybe turning off your hotspot when your work focus turns off. The shortcuts app is really cool because although it might take a little bit of work, you can usually always find a different shortcut as long as you can think of it you can probably make it happen. One shortcut that I made actually involves the action button on the new iPhones, and I think it's a pretty cool one. If you don't have an iPhone with an action button, don't worry, because you could still use this shortcut by adding it somewhere, like maybe on the lock screen on the control center on the bottom. In the action button settings, you can map the action button to the shortcuts app. And I wanted to be able to control the action button based on the focus mode I'm in. So I made a really cool shortcut, and I wanted to show it to you. First, you'll want to go to the shortcuts app and add a new shortcut by pressing the plus button in the top right corner. Then search for get current focus so your phone will know what focus you're in. And then under that, you're going to want to add the if function. Then you'll want to click where it says icon and change it to name. Then type in the name of your focus mode here. Now anything under this will be enabled when you're in that specific focus mode. Right after you add all the controls for that function, you're going to want to drag the end if function. This will tell your phone you don't want anything else to happen when that function above is selected. Now you just repeat it with your second focus. So search get focus, then add the if, then add all the controls you want, and so on. Now that you have that shortcut made and you have it selected in the action button settings, you can press the action button to activate the shortcut and it will only run the functions under the specific focus mode you're in. If you don't have the action button, you could still make this and then go to the lock screen settings and remove one of your controls on the bottom of your screen and replace it with this shortcut. Or you can add the shortcut to your control center by going back into jiggle mode one last time and adding a control and finding the shortcut in there. Focus modes can be a little overwhelming when you're setting them up, but once they're set up, they can be really helpful and make you a little bit more productive in your day. I hope you learned something new in this video. Thanks for watching.